Hey everybody, this is Fat Cat Paul Ann and I'm doing another challenge today. I did one the other day that was similar to this and I, I'm kind of trying to, I don't know, tune it in, tune it in to make it a better overall challenge. And I'm calling it <laughs> the one, 1 to 5 slash 1 to 15 challenge because 1 to 5 didn't work for everything. So for on all the rooms, I put a 1 to 5 on my Google random number generator, one to five. So uh, this house is going to have five bedrooms, four bathrooms, be for one sim, um, two kitchens, one dining room, three offices, one exterior door, four columns, one living room, and two colors. And then I changed it to one to 15 and I did windows and the color numbers and the number of plants outside okay so i got six windows it's still a low number for this house i've got 16 rooms and six windows so that's not gonna go great and then i got uh, color number five which is green and color number 11 which is light brown green and light brown that's not bad interior doors slash arches are not involved in this. I want to put the biggest windows I can because I am only going to have a few. Try and I want them to match that door. There we go. But anyway, I think that's going to be my distribution for my windows. Uh, I'm going to let that, maybe that'll shine through there, make it not so dark. And I'm going to try to make this look like a normal house despite having all these weird characteristics but let's get everything in before i roof it and all of that i've got bedrooms and i have to put i'm going to just put beds in them to as place markers okay and i have come up with something one living room one dining room three offices which are one two three Two kitchens, which are in the stairwell. <laughs> uh, you just walk in, you're in the kitchen. We have one exterior door. We have four columns, six windows. I don't think it's that bad. I, I, I mean, despite the lack of windows, I think it's actually going to be a livable space. I'm going to decorate this in green and light brown, and I think I'm going to keep it kind of monotone. I'm just hoping to find something I like the plaster or whatever in a in a light brown. I'm not going to do the bathrooms in light brown, even though I think I may have just done one. <laughs> yeah, I did the hall bathroom in light brown. Let's do a tile. Kind of want it to look a little modern. I think this house is looking okay. I. I'm not sure about my decision to roof it. Okay, and we'll put some light brown flooring on this porch. And I'm just going to do a little bit of light brown terrain paint. I'm going to put my 15 plants out here, and I am a terrible landscaper, so just keep that in mind when this happens. <laughs> We kind of need to hide the fact that we don't have any windows at the top. So, we just stick these trees right up here. These tall, skinny trees. Oh, that was a little, that was really tall. So, we got four so far. Five. Go ahead and put another bamboo over here. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Look at that tree. <laughs> Thought I was placing it in the yard. Was not. Nine. Oh, we need to do some back here. Some camouflage. People are going to talk about this house in the neighborhood. They're going to talk about it as the house with not enough windows. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. <laughs> I'm going to put the trash back here even though there's no back door to it. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> it's a good thing we got a lot of outdoor stuff. Hmm. I 
feel like I should take down one tree and put something on this wall. You can. There is no law that says I can't put an outdoor decoration up here. Like, you know, that. That. All of them look odd with the house, but you know, I'm gonna see what I can figure out. That's not terrible. That sort of camouflages the fact that we don't have a window up there. I'm going with that. If there's a lighter brown, a lighter light brown, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Ha ha. I'm very excited about that. Okay, I can't put anything else outside, so it's time to go in. Light brown and green. At some point, we need to incorporate some green into this, but this is not that time. We're going to do light brown kitchen cabinetry here. This is just a small kitchen. When you walk in, there's a small kitchen, and then you come to the back. I'm going to do a nice little dining room. This person lives alone, but does like to entertain and have people over, and that's why they have a nice dining room. They're very hospitable people. I forget how you put spandrels in. I'm gonna knock out this door, and then I'm gonna put a spandrel. I learned this trick from um, Cindy Macaretta, who is one of my favorite Sims YouTubers. That's still a separate room, technically. And it is the dining room. And since it's so dark back there, <laughs> I'm hoping that some of the light from, I mean, I will put lights in here in a minute, but I'm hoping that some of the light from this big front door with all the windows will come back there. I would like to put in different windows, I mean, different lights. I generally put in the same lights all the time. So I'm gonna do light brown and green and I know my favorite light comes in both of those colors but I'm not going to use them this time. I'm gonna use my next favorite <laughs> which is the eco lifestyle light and I'm gonna put in a nice sectional here for them when their family comes over to visit they can be all cozy on their little sectional. I think I'll put some more seating over here may even extend the same section all over here a little bit. Why not? I mean, this is just a room to hang out in for everyone. When they all come over and they can play board games and whatever. We just had a great board game night at our house last night. Still playing some of the new games that we got for Christmas and enjoying them. That green that I got does not match anything. It looks okay with this one. I'm just gonna make this one large. Er, this is a young person who's coming to some money. I see them here, and for some reason, they're opposed to having a correct, proper, normal number of windows. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any explanation for why a house would have so few windows. <laughs> But it does. But I'm gonna put a mirror, I think, on this back wall to reflect what light we do get. Let's put that there. That's gonna stand in for a window for us. We'll put this big wall mural. This is a particular collection that this sim has is fond of. They are a little eclectic and they like to have unusual things in their unusual house. <laughs> and you know, I'm making this up as I go. But honestly, I don't think this looks terrible. I'm trying to make it look decent. We're gonna go into this, which is one of the many guest bedrooms for this Sim who loves to have people over. This may be, this could be the Sim themselves this could be their room. Maybe it could be two Sims who live here. No, no, my thing only said one Sim, didn't it? But anyway, 
perhaps their significant other, they're planning for their significant other to move in with them eventually, and that's why they have this little bedroom suite, which has a bedroom. I love it when I go in the basement. A bedroom, it has a bedroom and an, a little office area. For example, if you lived here with your significant other, you would each have your own master bathroom. And I think that is very nice, very luxurious. And then this is the hall bathroom for everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and furnish these three in my green and light brown, not orange, green and light brown. It sh should be relatively easy. And I don't want them to all be identical. So I'm gonna put one of these showers in this one. We're gonna put one of these showers in this one. Is that how you get into it? Yeah, okay. And in this one, since it's the hall bath, I think we might put a bath, a bathtub. And since I am not doing a budget, money's no object. <laughs> we'll just throw in whatever one we want. I like this mirror. I am gonna put this mirror in each one. I don't know exactly why, but I do like them. We will put one of these long, skinny rugs in this long, skinny kitchen. I like this one. And so you, when you enter, you enter in on that. Actually, I think this looks pretty nice. I need to do this office. I'm gonna put in a full bookshelf for them. A full, really skinny bookshelf, if, I, if there is one. I'm going to do that one. Maybe they knit. It's where they keep their knitting in their little suite here. Okay, that's the first floor done. I think it looks okay. And then we have um, all of these rooms upstairs. I'm going to do a quick kitchen again. I'm going to make it a little different, this one. I'm going to make this one green because I can. This is pretty much going to be the kitchen for the guests. So the guests come over, they can have a cup of coffee. It's not too bad. If I was staying in an Airbnb and they provided this for me, I would be okay with it. I don't have a um, smoke alarm because it's not the colors that I need it to be, so we will just make do. I think I'll put a couple of these in here, even though they hang down too low. They're kind of cool. So I'm gonna put a little table over in this corner with one chair because, you know, this is one sim. They do, they are partial to these little chairs. I could put another one there if I didn't have my fridge there. Swap out the fridge, put another chair. There, guests can have their little morning breakfast without coming down and disturbing their hosts. I'm just gonna put these in everywhere. Now this is a children's suite that, um, hmm, it also contains all the bathrooms for the floor. But what can you do? This is how it is. It's dysfunctional, but it's fine. I'm gonna do some different mirrors because I can. Let's put a star in this one, you know? And then we've got these two little bedrooms where guest children can stay. Let's put something on the wall for this child. Something that looks outdoorsy. We're going for an outdoorsy look for these children because at least one of them has no windows. And basically they're gonna have to sleep in a pass-through space. I could do um, the spandrel here too. I like that. But now they can share the light from the window. Got this little entryway to their bedroom suite, which is an office. It's office number three. So it's just a little pass-through office. It goes 
Looks like he can go here. I think originally I was thinking that this would be a bedroom and that would be the bathroom for it. But then I realized that you had to um, get into these rooms somehow. So I could have put a door here. I just realized that. Could have put a door there. Not going to do it now. At this point, the house has been built. It is built. It is here. We are living with it as is. I could, you know, turn the camera off and work on this for an hour, but I'm not going to. Now, this room has a window, if I'm not mistaken, so... We're not going to put these where the window was. <laughs> I almost did. I wanted to put them right there, but then I realized. Okay, we did not get an easel downstairs, so we're going to put an easel up here. Nice light brown easel. And then we have this very plain, boring bedroom. We're going to throw some things in it. I really like these dream home decorator things, the way they go right next to each other. I almost never use them. I don't know why. I really like the idea of having a, a wall unit there. I think that's great. We'll throw a mirror over it. We'll put some clutter in it. And on it, the very neutral bedroom for guests. I feel like it's a little crowded, but right there, but I think it's okay. At least the very neutral bedroom for guests does have a window. <laughs> I realized that this whole house is a fire safety hazard. <laughs> it totally is. Some of the bedroom, well, I think all of the bedrooms have windows, so maybe we're okay. Move this, this rug instead of the rug I put. That makes it look much less neutral and much more pretty. Try to hang something behind the bed. Like I said, we're going very neutral in here. I feel like a landscape on the wall would be the ideal. Kind of looks like a hotel room. Okay, there's my house. I did um, a house with five bedrooms. I'm sorry, five bathrooms, four bedrooms for one sim, two kitchens, one dining room, three office, one exterior door, four columns, one living room, two colors, which were green and brown, green and light brown, and six windows. And all things considered... I don't think it looks too terribly bad. It does cry out for windows. It, it, it cries for windows. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't mind living in this house. I'd be okay with it. I probably would have someone over as quickly as possible to install windows. But I don't hate it. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Which is my favorite line. If you've watched any of my other videos, that's my favorite thing to say. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It is certainly not the worst house I have ever built. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.